Start on your back with your soles of your feet together. Knees fly out towards the side. And just take a few nice deep breaths, relaxing your body and your lower back. Keep the soles of the feet together. Place the hands behind your head. And then when you inhale, take the knees towards the elbows and the elbows towards the knees. Exhale, open up. Inhale, make yourself small. Exhale, open. So initiate the movement from your core and not from your lower back. So when your lower back takes over, that means you have to take it a little bit easier. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, last time, stay there. And then start to change it up a little bit. Cross the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. And if you like, start to move a little faster. Still breathing deeply, slowly. Stay connected to the breath. And then if you want to, you can change it up again, straightening out both legs and straightening out your arm that is crossing towards the other leg. So you're just crossing over, straightening both legs and straightening out your arm. Stay with this or start to move just a little faster. And again, if this is too much, stay with the formal option that I gave you. Always choose what is best for your body. And especially take care of your lower back. If your lower back is taking over, that means you have to maybe take it a little easier. That's absolutely fine, no worries about that. Now lift both arms towards your feet and then relax down into the ground. Soles of the feet together, knees to the side. And let that fire in your belly spread throughout your body. Breathe into your body, into your belly. And this is just as important as doing the core work, the relaxation afterwards. Now again, prepare. Take your hands alongside your body, press the hands down into the ground and lift the feet up as if you would go into a shoulder stand. So inhale from your core, lift up, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. Good, now if you want to add a little more, then you can open your knees and take the soles of your feet together when you exhale. Make sure the lower back is safe. Round the spine when you come down. Good. Now if you want to change it even more, then on your next exhalation, straighten one leg and bend one knee. So inhale, lift, straighten the other legs, bend the other knee. Good. If this is a little bit too much for you, just stay with the lifting up and down. Good. Now this time lift all the way up and take the actual shoulder stand. Hands into your back. And if you like, start to move your legs in just your own creative way. Maybe opening to Baddha Konasana. Maybe straightening your legs, windmilling them around. And if you feel like just staying in a straight shoulder stand, that's absolutely fine too. Do what you feel. And from there, start to slowly lower down your legs and roll down onto the ground. Good. Hands underneath your buttocks, crown of the head towards the ground for fish pose, opening the chest. And look towards the tip of your nose, breathing deeply, long. And from there, relax down into the ground. Take a moment, bend your knees into your chest and take a twist. So you can bend both knees to one side or you can straighten out the top leg, taking a little bit more of a stretch. Move from side to side and also use your core here just a little bit. Good. Staying relaxed in the face. And just hug your knees into your chest. Give your lower back a rest. And you're all done. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. While you open your knees towards the side, soles of the feet together. And when you feel ready, bring your knees back into your chest, rock up to a seated position, and you're done.